Hey, what's up everyone? So as you guys know, update eight being the brand new desert island was just released a couple of hours ago. And we went ahead and ran a two hour stream where I kind of walked you guys through the entire quest line and how to get it done. But for those of you that missed that stream, I'm gonna go ahead and make this specific video where I break everything down step by step. That way, those of you that are having a hard time don't have any issues. I know there's a little bit of confusion right now on how to get the quest started and how to complete the final part being the mirror puzzle. We're gonna go over all of those details in this specific video so like always let's go ahead and waste no more time and get right into it all right so for starters to get access to the brand new desert island being pharaoh's dunes you will have to be level 65 to get started with the quest you're going to want to head over to port jackson inside of finn's shop make your way to the attic up here, the NPC that you're going to want to be looking for is named Astro. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this is that the only time that he comes out is during the nighttime. If you do happen to come here during the daytime, you will not find him standing outside by the telescope, but rather you will find him inside of his little cubby hole, which actually, if you walk up to right where the telescope is, you'll be able to see a door that's interactable. Doing this will then bring up a dialogue where he kind of explains to you that he's sleeping, don't wake him up to stop bothering him. Then he'll offer to pay you. But of course, none of this will really do anything you're gonna have to come back here at nighttime in order to be able to have a conversation with him and start the quest once you've done that he's gonna want you to head on over to the pyramid and figure out what exactly is going on at this point you're gonna run into a very familiar npc by the name of carbon and yes that is me carbon this guy right here i have my own npc in the game now but yeah go ahead and talk to him and he's gonna explain to you that you need to find the star that is located on the floor right next to him at this point you're gonna want to make your way back to port jackson back to the astronomer astro talk to him which will then go ahead and start some type of cinematic thing where it shows you you looking into the telescope you see a star the star shatters into five different pieces which are then scattered throughout the entire world of fishing simulator now in the background right now i'm going to show you guys the exact location of where all five shards are the first place that you're going to want to go to is eruption island this is going to be located literally right outside of the little village that you find there on eruption island if you actually go ahead and zoom your map out you'll be able to see it it's a really really bright shard once you've grabbed that one go ahead and head to shadow isles next and it is going to be located right in front of caster as soon as you get off the scaffolding after that for shard number three you're going to want to head to ancient shores and here it's actually not too far from mr popperson as soon as you get off the hot air balloon go ahead and head towards the river cross the log and it's going to be right on the other side on the floor now for shard number four you're going to want to head to monsters burrow this is a very simple one it's located right on top of the door of the moby wood spawn and then for the final piece it is going to be located inside of desert island right next to the small oasis pond now at this point you have gathered all five shard pieces and it's very simple just head on over back to where the pyramid is go to the star that is on the floor and make sure that you grab every single shard piece and add it to your hot bars in the bottom in the bottom of your screen where it shows one two three four five six where you would normally put like your spear and your fishing rod just go ahead and put all five shard pieces there and hold it in your hand each and every single one of them one by one and look at the star on the floor and it'll prompt you to place it down once you've done all five of them, then the pyramid will be open and now the fun will begin. Once you are inside of the pyramid, you will notice that it splits up into three separate directions with three different doors. You will obviously want to make your way over to the only door that is open and that is the one on your left hand side. Once you're inside of here, you will now be in the very first puzzle and that is the maze. Unfortunately, the maze is randomly generated, so I can't really tell you exactly which one is going to be the correct one for you. But just know that as soon as you walk in, there's going to be three separate separate passageways that you can take one of those three will be the correct one so unfortunately if you do make your way down one and it isn't correct you will have to turn around and make your way back and make it into the next one now while unfortunately i really can't help you guys with this part of the maze i can help you with the next room which is probably one of the more difficult parts and that is the mirror puzzle this one will indeed be the same for every single player, but it can get really confusing even with me explaining it. So if you do get lost at any point while I'm explaining this, go ahead and stop the video, rewind it, mute the video if you have to, if that's going to make you concentrate a little bit more and kind of just go ahead and follow along if that's going to make it a lot easier for you. But with that being said, as soon as you walk into the room, the very first mirror that is in front of you, you're going to want to turn this so that it's aiming directly in front of you. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the beam is now reflecting towards the second mirror, jump across the bridge onto the little ledge and jump up on this mirror. 
Go ahead and turn this one about 10 or 11 times until it's reflecting off of the roof to the next mirror that is located on the opposite side of the room. Go ahead and follow the path that I'm showing you in the background right now. As soon as you make it to this mirror, just go ahead and turn it about four times and then jump on over to the mirror that the laser is connecting to. Now for this mirror, I went ahead and turned it about eight times, but you are going to have to turn this one again at the end. But for the time being, you can go ahead and leave it at where it is right now in the footage in the background. Go ahead and leave that one alone, jump over to the one right next to it and turn this one 12 times. This will go ahead and make the laser reflect off of a mirror that's leaning right up against the wall in front of it. Again, jump on over to the one that's next to that one and turn that mirror four times until it's reflecting off of the one that's exactly all the way across in the other corner of the room. Once here, go ahead and turn this one about five times. That's going to go ahead and reflect it off of the roof again, which will send the laser all the way to the other side of the room, basically where you started. Now, at this point, you are down to the last three mirrors that you need to turn. Turn this one to the mirror that I'm showing you in the background right now, which is exactly across from it. And then make your way on over to, in theory, what should be the final mirror. But I kind of messed up in the recording of this because I was during the live stream. But this one is located right in front of the blue chest. Just turn it so that the laser is going right into the little circle underneath the blue chest then go ahead and jump on over across to the other side of the chest and turn that mirror just one or two times and it will shoot the laser into the bottom of the blue chest as well which will then turn every single laser blue and unlock the chest now at this point you have unlocked the brand new rare star rod if you've spoken to some of the NPCs in the town, you'll know that there is a starfish inside of the Oasis Pond. And the only way that you can catch it is by using this brand new star rod and fishing at nighttime. But there you go. Once you've done that, you have now successfully completed the Pyramid Quest for Desert Island. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with this. I didn't think that they could top the Temple Quest, but they actually did manage to do it. I had a lot of fun with this. Hopefully this was informative for you guys and it did help you out. If it did, please make sure to drop a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. It does help my content get out there. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more fishing simulator content. I will be having some more videos up. I have my Easter egg video coming out tomorrow where I will be showing you guys what exactly is gonna be the theme for the next island that's coming for update nine. And honestly, I just have have a lot more things to show you guys throughout this entire week so make sure that you don't forget to turn that on but anyways that's pretty much going to do it for today's video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care